All right, well, we've got a second button. We've got all the buttons. Let's hit that button. Oh! Oh, that's epic! Oh, I didn't know it did that! <laughs> oh, that's gonna go against the skybox. Ooh, I really hope that deactivates. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we're gonna be looking at some viewer creations. I know I've been playing a lot of Scrap Mechanic this week. We're kind of in celebration because of the whole fact that the town is back. But I'm still going to do the one viewer creation episode this week. And I've got quite a few creations to go over here. I've got an excavator, a base with three armored vehicles, which are really awesome. We'll go over those here in a second. I've got a hover vehicle, or I think it's called the Hover Stinger. And I've got this thing. Now, there's a strange story about this. I had this in my or on my lift and I'm trying to figure out how I ended up with it. It's a workshop item that doesn't have many subs to it and I cannot find where I was sent this and I don't know maybe I just downloaded it but we're gonna go ahead and feature it anyways and I'll link it to the workshop so we can give this guy some love because this is a really awesome looking creation and if you did send this to me anybody that's watching this video up uh, just feel free and comment below because I'm still a little confused how I ended up with a flying iguana, so we'll go over that last. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the uh, first creation. Alright, these first creations are by Frederick. Uh, we have featured him before, I believe in the house special. He sent me that red house with some hover vehicles. A really awesome creator. And he sent me a base with three vehicles. Now, I don't exactly know what this base is for. I don't know what we're infiltrating or what we're battling here but he's got some really awesome vehicles in here and uh, all these do use mods they're the MJM Grego and the Durf mod but really awesome he's got looks like a I think this is a control van which I'll go over the inside it's really neat uh, some sort of off-road vehicle maybe like a buggy with uh, I would say storage but that doesn't look like storage does it that looks like it might open uh, we will go over that here in a second and this is like a Hummer limo that's armored, and these look really cool, and I'm kind of curious what he's got going on here, because I see some sensors poking out the side. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on the inside, so I think we're going to take all these vehicles out one by one. Let's go ahead and try this one out first, uh, see what it's all about, see a safe place to put this. We've got a lot of creations here today, and oh... Ooh, I got a little lag spike there. What just dropped off the lift? You know what? I believe Egbert might have just dropped off his lift. Or something did. Because that was a that was a pretty good spike there. Let's go ahead and drop this down. We'll see if it stabilizes. I'm probably too close to all the other creations. So let's just stick this over here. See if that makes it any better. Uh, not really. I have a feeling it might be Egbert over here. The big... Well, and what, the reason I'm calling it Egbert it is a... Uh, that's the name of the creator. And I believe that's the name of his lizard or iguana yep it was Egbert okay let's uh check this out real quick let's open these and oh I like that that's really cool you know I might have been sent this before logic gates uh normally you could just do a two-way door but he's got it where the uh, switch actually flips in and out and you got the seats in there that turn that is awesome that's actually uh really cool to do that uh, especially if you didn't have the logic gates uh, now you don't really need to worry about that but that definitely works. I love how the seats turn to let you in. Uh, I'm trying to figure out maybe what these sensors are used for. Seems like all the outside buttons are just for doors, so let's go ahead and jump in. I'm pretty sure there's some buttons on the driver's seat here. Alright, let's see. Door. That was... I think that was actually the... Uh, maybe a radio. Uh, let's see. Something just switched in the back. Not really sure what that is. Okay. Huh, there's only three switches here. Something is going on. There's more than meets the eye here, and I, I need to figure this out. Uh, let's see. What is happening here? You know, maybe these sensors are set up with... Are those rockets? I need to put this on a lift. You know, let, let me delete Egbert real quick, and we're going to investigate what's under this. Oh, right. I figured something out. The uh, passenger seat actually has these little mini guns or... I would say you can just call them guns that poke out. I was trying to figure out what those were in the back because I saw some bearings and controllers and I was like, where are these leading to and how do I make them work? So that's awesome. 
Uh, let's go ahead and test this thing out, see how it drives. It looks like it handles really good. I'm still trying to figure out what the sensors are for. It might be some sort of stabilization. Uh, I'm trying to hear, I don't believe I hear any thrusters going off, so I'm not 100% not sure there. Uh, it drives nice. The uh, suspension looks like we're going off the, uh, kind of like the suspension I do sometimes. I Sometimes I'll either do like three suspension pieces, sometimes only two. It uh, looks like he's going off the two here. Sounds like an electric motor. It's definitely got that pull, but it's like an instant stop when you let off the gas. But uh, that's really neat. Now, he's got a couple more that I'm really looking forward to here. I'm going to put this one off over to the side since we've already checked this one out. All right, we've got this next vehicle here, and I'm not sure what this is. This is kind of like a buggy, and ooh. Oh, it's got storage in the back. That's awesome. I love these tires. I really wish these were in scrap mechanic because this would be awesome. I believe these are about the same tires I used for my monster truck build probably a couple months ago. And oh, this thing, oh, this handles fantastic. I love the way this thing turns. Uh, it's really wide and that's almost what it, it is basically a trailer, the way it's uh, on there. But this thing turns unlike anything I've felt before. This almost feels like it could have a suspension glitch going on. Uh, let's see. Yep, that is a suspension glitch. It's got to be because, no, not unless that is wiggling. I don't know. I'm going to have to put this thing on a lift to really tell if it does have it. But it seems like it does move. Like, even when I'm just sitting here, I can wiggle it. And I don't see any turning from tires. So, I mean, it's what it's got to be. Uh, handles great. And that's probably why. But it's still a fantastic creation. I love the... Uh, the look of it. I love the look of this whole area. I'm trying to figure out if that base has anything in it. Uh, there's quite a few bearings in there, so we're going to have to investigate that out a little bit, too. Uh, I wonder... I'm going to check and see if I can put these up. I'll uh, email him and see if maybe I can put these up for download, because I don't have a workshop link for them, and I'm pretty sure you guys might want to test some of these out, because these are really cool. Oh, right. This is the last vehicle. This is a control van or a spy van, whatever you want to call it. Uh, maybe it's like an NSA van. Completely armored. Uh, let's take a look at the inside real quick. Pretty basic inside. Uh, nice and secure. Uh, let's see. The back's actually really cool. You can climb up in here. Now, you've got all your surveillance equipment or control equipment, but you also have something really neat. And what's this? Oh, Okay, that's how you open the hatch up there, but check this out. This is awesome. Hit that, and here we come. We got a little gun on here. That is awesome. That's It's so epic looking. It reminds me of a little bit of the uh, FarmBot Buster 2.0, how it folded down. But this one just comes straight out the top, and I'm really curious. I'm pretty sure that's a basic uh, design. Ooh, okay, that's how he's getting it out. That's really smooth. Uh, I can hardly ever achieve a smooth lift like that. Uh, normally mine would lean a little bit. It's probably because I'm not very good at making these type of elevators. But I get no lag from that, which is amazing how smooth that goes in and out. Yeah, no lag at all. Uh, normally there's some collisions going on there and that's not good at all. But yeah, he's done a fantastic job with that. Uh, question is, how does this thing drive? And... This one looks like it's actually turning normal, unlike the other one, I, which I believe uh, has a suspension glitch in there somewhere. I actually didn't look at that. E it's going on somewhere. There it is, right in the front. But this one looks like it turns just off the normal bearings in the front. So let's go ahead and drive this one around. And then we're going to check out his base and see what kind of secrets are in there. Oh, ooh, all the tires turn. Okay, so this is kind of like a, f well, I wouldn't say 4x4. Four uh, this is six wheels, but you can see both back wheels. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that. And yeah, it turns fine. Works really nice. Let's go ahead and mess with the buttons. Okay, door, doors. Uh, what's, oh, you can control the gun turret from up here too. That's sweet. All right, let's drive this around a bit. Ah, it feels good. And oh, I have high centered. Oh no, <laughs> I found the weakness of the vehicle. This is a weakness of about every long vehicle. There we go. Yeah, this is why I normally like to do the long vehicles on the flat world like I did uh, last viewer creation episode with the uh, buses. But yeah, this that's the reason why. I'm trying to figure out, does he have suspension under there? Uh, 
No, he doesn't. So this is a pretty rigid ride. But it does turn really nice. It's got a nice little bit of sliding action whenever you move it around. It's a, uh, it's epic looking. It reminds me a lot of my Apocalypse world, which I kind of miss that world a little bit. Maybe we'll have to build more in that one soon. Because these vehicles would fit perfectly. But these do also use the mod because you can see the tires there. And some of the... Actually, that looks like a, basically the only modded parts he's using on this build. Not unless there's something going on there with the bearing, because that's a different color bearing. But I'm not 100% sure, but that's still an epic creation. But yeah, let's go check out that base real quick, because I have a feeling there's more than meets the eye over there. Okay, base, what do you do? What type of secrets do you have inside? Of course, you're seeing all the doors right here. Uh, there's something over here. I want to say this might take us to the roof. Am I correct? Ah, yes, there's a lift. Now, what's going on up here? There is something in this box, and I don't even know what it is. Let's, uh, let's hit the button here and see. Something's happening. Okay. All right, well, we've got a second button. We've got all the buttons. Let's hit that button. Oh! Oh, that's epic! Oh, I didn't know it did that! <laughs> oh, that's gonna go against the skybox. Ooh, I really hope that deactivates. Well, that was very unexpected. Wow. Did it shut off? I feel like that just actually shut off. Maybe that was on a time... Wait, no, timer's worn out when this was uh, put together. Huh. I'm gonna need to go track that down. Let's take one of his vehicles and see what happened to that rocket, because I hope it's not pinned up against the other side. Alright, we're gonna check out the Hover Stinger by Mad Joe Mac. Uh, he sent this to me a while back. He actually intended on it being in the moon base, which I still want to use it because it looks absolutely awesome. It looks like kind of a, maybe a Lamborghini uh, hovercraft. Uh, but like I said, it's called the Hover Stinger. And this thing is really stable. It, f it hovers nice. It's really fast. I love the doors on here. Check that out. It's got those doors that fold up. I don't know if those are called suicide doors maybe those are the ones that just fold up from the hinge on the side I'm not really sure let's hop in real quick show you how this thing works it's got a lot of buttons in here it's got some to make the uh, back thrusters spin it's got like a boost button in here which makes it go probably way too fast for this area and, oh there's the rocket I was wondering where that landed I'm actually glad that finally stopped I was really afraid that was going to lag the world out and get pinned up against the wall or something. I didn't even know that happened. And, oh, no. No, no, no. It's trying to go still. Uh, let's kind of block it here. <laughs> That's awesome. I believe, yeah, that button was the button we pressed on the side. But anyways, let's go ahead and test this thing out a little bit. Uh, this thing... Does it have sensors on it? Yeah, it does. So that's what's trying to stabilize it. And it's always kind of hard to like make hover things on these uh, terrain worlds. Uh, the bigger it is, the easier it is for it to stay stable, but these little small crafts, like it's gonna pick up every little bump, so it kinda makes it a, a bit unstable. But I did play with this thing a little bit in the uh, flat world, and it's just super fast, super stable. Turns on a dime, I'm assuming we're using maybe a suspension glitch here, cause that turns almost way too well you know maybe he is using some sort of sideways thrusters it's very possible but yeah we'll go through some of the buttons here i think the back buttons are extra thrusters to kind of yeah you can shimmy from the left and right uh, back up uh, there's the doors one of these there's a boost button which you know what maybe i should turn the particles on that way you can see which ones are actually activating i think it's the ones that are on the back and oh this is way too fast way too fast Oh, look at this. This is cool. I know it's going to stabilize itself. Oh, that is awesome. All right, let's see if I can actually survive here. Let's try making a turn. Turn, turn. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, that's bad. All right, let's uh, shut down thrusters here. It's, uh, gave it a little too much. A little too much. Let's see if we can just hop it. Oh, is that a horn? Oh, it is. Oh, it's awesome. But yeah, uh, I like to see, he had some variations on this, and I didn't really go through them. He had like a police one, which would be really cool for the uh, moon base. Have like a futuristic police, and oh, by the way, that's what it looks like on the lift. Actually, we can investigate this thing a little bit. Yeah, you can see the sideways thrusters. I don't think, oh yeah, he is. There's a suspension glitch. You can see the two uh, green lines running down to the bearings there. Uh, really cool, though. Let's uh, show you the other thing it does. The uh, back thrusters actually do spin. 
So I believe, is it Bob? No. It's one of these. There it is. Okay, so that was three, and then four is the, like, the mega boost. So let's get back over in the area where we're supposed to be. Let's hit the mega boost here real quick. Close our door. We don't want to fly out of this thing. Curious what's going to happen if I... Oh, no. Yeah, this terrain world. Actually, no, this might work upside down, too. Nope, we're going to get lodged between trees here. Luckily, this thing is only like one block wide as far as the width from the uh, roof and bottom there. So you can hop right out and don't have to worry about getting stuck. But yeah, I'm really going to have fun cruising around on this with the, uh, or at least in the moon map here. It's just a little hard to do. There's just so much stuff in the way. Probably could have taken this on a flat map, but I was really curious to see how it handles the terrain, which at reasonable speeds, it handles it great. It's just when you kind of catch the sensor off guard, it try to pushes, like pushes really hard one way and then the terrain shifts back and yeah, it's kind of hard to keep up with. But uh, yeah, we're going to go check out the next creation, which is an excavator. And then we're going to do the flying lizard last because I am really curious about that creation and I'm still wondering how in the world I even ended up with it. All right, we're checking out this awesome excavator. Now let's look at the spider web here. This was made by, and I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, Vildu1001 or maybe 1001. I'm going to flash his name up on screen. Uh, I believe I might have covered one of his items before, and I need to go search and see what it was. But this thing has a lot of bearings. Surprisingly, it doesn't lag that much, so uh, you should definitely be able to place this in your world. I was a little afraid. Anytime I hear excavators or construction equipment, I picture just a ton of bearings, which there is a lot here, but it's surprisingly not bad at all. So uh, let's go ahead and hop in here. Now I'm gonna have to learn how to control this again. Let's open the side here. All right, there is a ton of buttons, obviously, you can see here. Let's start hitting them all. Assuming this is a door. No, this isn't a door. You know, maybe the actual buttons are the doors. Let's try that. There's a door here. There's the roof hatch, okay. One. One is, you know, let's probably drive forward or backwards a little bit here. Oh, that's the actual, all right. So WASD is all of the, uh, I guess the top, I'm assuming that's on one bearing there, which I don't have the spider web pulled up. So that's the arm. Let's see. The one key is extending. Two key retracts it. So that's the, the main arm out there. Uh, that, okay, so three keys to dumping, <laughs> dumping, uh, four for scooping, uh, five, six are the, uh, the doors, so I've got that, okay, so this uses kind of like a skid steering, it doesn't, oh yeah, that's awesome, okay, so how do we make this go forward, so maybe seven and zero together, that's forward, so if I release zero, it's going to shift over, if I engage zero, it's going to go forward again, so it's release seven, Oh yeah, that's awesome. That is really cool. And you can tell this thing's heavy because it's fun that that arm, when it lifts up, like it won't stay in its uh, position because it's on electric motors and anything real heavy, it's just going to kind of lean back down. And you can slowly watch it just droop there, which, I mean, it's not his fault at all. It's just the way the game works. But uh, this is one of the better excavators that I've been sent. Uh, this would work really good in the town, actually. Might have to use that at some point. I need to come up with another construction... Uh, project in the town. I've got that one main construction area, but I feel like we could be doing something else. Maybe some road work and this thing would actually come in handy really with it. Still just having a fun time with this. It's a uh, not very fast, but these things aren't fast at all in real life. Uh, normally they would run off a tank track, which now that is possible in scrap mechanic, but it is still so laggy. Really curious if the new engine comes soon how that would work with tracks because that is probably the most laggiest thing I've ever seen in the game. Whenever somebody tries to make a legitimate like tank or something like this, uh, it just doesn't like it at all. Even if you have one of the most high-end machines, it just doesn't run. So uh, that's something they definitely need to work on because I would love to see tanks and stuff like this actually have those tracks and grip. Uh, I'm still a little... I don't know, I would say afraid that the parts that they're made out of, like the metal, they won't grip because it seems like if it's not a tire, say if you use a barrel for, for wheels or anything, it doesn't like to grip the ground. It just kind of spins. So I'm curious how actual tracks would actually grip the ground. Hopefully it would work. 
but uh, you never know. I want to thank the guy's name who I cannot pronounce, uh, Vildu1001. I want to thank him for sending this. Uh, I believe I might have covered something else of his before, so if he's watching this video, comment below, let me know. I'll track through the emails. Also, if you've got a workshop, I'll try to search that. Uh, maybe we can get this out there, because I'm sure some of you guys would like to try this excavator, because it's really fun. Oh, right, guys. Meet Egbert. I love that name. That's actually the name of the creator. But that name just, I don't know, it's got a really nice ring. Like, when I think of a pet iguana, the name Egbert just seems right. Now, I'm still curious. I don't know how I ended up with this. Uh, I looked back at the workshop to find this. It doesn't have that many subscribers, and I normally don't go searching through the workshop to find items. So, I want to say maybe I was sent this, but I just cannot find where it was. But if I wasn't... I still want to showcase this. I'm going to put his workshop in the description. If you like to go download this thing, uh, show him some love uh, because this thing is really detailed. Like I love pixel art and when you have this kind of 3D pixel art going on, uh, he's done a fantastic job and supposedly this thing actually flies. As you can see, there's a lot of thrusters in there. There's some controllers. I'm assuming the mouth opens. But uh, yeah, let's uh, see how we want to do this. Let's, uh, let's pop it out here. Now, one thing I might start doing, say I just downloaded this, say he didn't send this to me, which I'm still kind of curious how I ended up with it. Uh, I think on each of these viewer creation episodes, I'm going to go find, I don't, don't want to call it a hidden gem, I'm going to be like a workshop hunter. And I'm going to take one creation that doesn't have many subs on it, something that I think is unique, like this, and I will showcase it. And maybe we could surprise the uh, creator with some love on their uh, workshop, uh, tell him I sent you, maybe you link the video, because... I think that's a part of what, you know, sometimes the workshop gets overlooked. A lot of really good creations, like, they just don't get shown. And this is probably an example of that because there's not many subs to this. So let's uh, go ahead and figure out how do we get into this thing. Is there a button on the side? Huh, I'm curious. Let's climb up on top of Egbert here. Egbert kind of scares me. He's got, a, he's got a mean look. I actually have a bearded dragon. You know, maybe for uh, fun, we'll show his picture on screen. He's uh, he's mean. Uh, I don't think he likes me, but... Ah, uh, here we go. Here's how we get in. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Oh, yes. Mr. Egbert. Okay, what's this button do? Ah, uh, look at that. Oh, he's even got teeth. Yeah, these things are mean. Uh, I haven't met a, a nice iguana. Of course, I only have... And I don't know if... I think bearded dragon and iguana are two different things, but I should probably quit crossing them up. Uh, let's see. We've got that... Okay, that's the mouth. Oh, two's a hover. Okay, so we can hover. Let's see, three. Oh, that's gonna be tipping. Okay, which one pitches him down? There we go. Look at that, we've got a flying iguana. Oh my. Oh, this is amazing. Like, wow. <laughs> uh, I'm too busy trying to play with the controls to make sure I keep it stable because I'm not very good at flying things. Oh no, oh no, don't tip. No, Egbert's going down. Egbert's going down. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, Egbert. He actually opened his mouth a little bit in pain. Oh, no. I think I'm pinned to the tree. Uh, let's see. Let's try three. That's the thrusters. Yep, I have pinned Egbert to the tree. Let's see if we can shake him off here. I think his points might be stuck. God, I'm terrible at flying things. I don't know why that is. Like... I feel like this is the uh, issue iBallistic Squid goes through. Uh, I did look at the instructions, by the way, so we can't say I didn't do that. I just kind of forget them really quick, so I kind of go back through the buttons and, oh, look, we're going to free ourselves here. Nope, no, we're not. Yeah, Egbert's stuck in the tree, so we might need to spawn maybe Egbert Jr., and maybe we can knock him out. I don't know. I wonder if I can climb out the, the mouth here. No, he's pinned. Like, I can't, yeah, I'm not going to be able to shake him. All right, we're back in action here, and we are ready to try to fly this thing again. Let's get up on top of them. Uh, one more attempt. I, I didn't feel like I gave it a fair shot with all the trees, so let's go ahead and two keys. Going to activate them. Okay, so three and four. That's tipping. Uh, let's see. Six is to get his butt up in the air, so you've got that. Uh, he does use the uh, W... I like the WASD, I believe. Now that works actually fairly nice. I'm still not able to keep up with the controls, but still uh, glides nice. It's got a nice hover to it. Its uh, shadow looks really unique. Uh, you don't always see a flying iguana. Uh, this is awesome. Let's go ahead and open his mouth back. 
That is so sweet. Like, I I wish I could do... Maybe I can do pic pixel art like this. Uh, this would be kind of cool. Maybe in the town having some sort of a uh, mascot for it. I already have the farm bot. Maybe, maybe the town itself needs a mascot. This would actually look kind of cool in one of the buildings. But yeah, that's uh, definitely awesome. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit the invisible wall. Actually, I, I can't even see the ground. Let's go ahead and drop down and see just where we're going to land here. How close to it. Yep, we're traveling towards it. But yeah, this is an awesome creation. All the creations that I showed today are awesome. Uh, I'll try to link as many of them in the description as possible. And um, we'll see about the uh, first one with the base. I'll uh, message him back. If I can host the map, I'll do that. If not, if he's got a workshop, I'll link that. Uh, that missile is... That's awesome. But yeah, guys, if you ever want to send me any creations, I'm going to flash the email on screen. And how in the heck do we get out of this thing? Uh, we, maybe we should have used the mouth. Uh, let's see. We've got a button here. Got a button over here. Oh, there's two doors. Okay. What's that button do? Oh, no, that's a button to make him fly. Huh. I might be stuck. We might be going out the front. Sorry about this, Egbert. We're going to have to punch some of your teeth out. So uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's go out the side here. I don't like doing this. Uh, it's always kind of weird to rip up somebody's creation, but I need to get out of this thing. So, and necessary things are about to happen, even though I'm probably missing the obvious e exit. But anyways, guys, that's gonna about wrap it up for today's episode. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Uh, we will be doing one more town episode tomorrow. We're gonna do one more for the week. Uh, I know it's been a little bit much. I wouldn't say much, actually. You guys really enjoy the town. But I haven't done anything else. I will get back to doing the moon base. I really look forward to continuing it. So don't think that I've given up on that. It's just I'm so happy that, that the town is back. That I've been just doing a lot of work in there. But yeah, we'll do that. We'll play some other random games. But anyways, hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.